Hello dear Scorpio Rising, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio everything. Welcome to my channel, this is Soleil Rising. If you're new to this channel, I make relatable astrology videos, which are kind of sometimes brutally honest. So if you're interested, please make sure to subscribe. If you're already on my channel, hello, hi, welcome back. So excited to see you because I'm here with Scorpio March 2022 horoscope prediction. And March starts with new moon on 2nd of March in your 5th house of Pisces. And it is connected to Jupiter. That means Jupiter is expanding everything it touches, okay? So 5th house is all about. So hear me out. There are many, many different versions for this story. So 5th house could be... 5th house could be kids... <laughs> love romance hobbies so this means and business this means that you will start or initiate some kind of process related to one of these fields or perhaps many like most of these fields and it will be working towards your goal because uh, jupiter is there so it is going to expand and make it <laughs> okay it's biting so it is going to be about your business, your kids, your hobbies. Uh, perhaps you will initiate the process related to these fields. And why am I saying that it is going to play a big role in your March 2022? Is because not only we have new moon, but we have Jupiter working well with Uranus, sextiling Uranus for the whole month. It is going to be in your field of love, partnership, having fun, creativity, contracts, and business partners. That means that um, for the whole month, you will be working towards or you will be just like somehow involved in things related to your business partners, your kids. Uh, you will probably have a lot of romance or maybe... And, and these are like unexpected, sudden, good changes. Maybe... Uh, you'll get pregnant and you did not expect that or plan it and or you will you, you you might give birth so for those who are in this like who are parents or who are expecting kids and for some people you will probably meet the love of your life uh, because it is in the field of romance and partnership or it could also mean that you will be working towards your business which is highly creative or uh, which where you are highly involved with your business partner or it could mean that you have a business or you are working on some kind of project and you will be having a lot of contracts or a lot of clients during this month okay the next thing that we're having is mercury uh, in your fourth house and it has been there from February so what it means is that fourth house is a house of parents a uh, house literally a house and maybe can also mean the place where you live so this means that from February until 10th of March you were probably uh, thinking a lot or involved in the fields related to your parents buying selling a house or applying preparing some documents for buying selling a house or uh if you have been planning to move out or like change your status related to your citizenship you have been dealing with these papers in the past month and if not that means you were uh traveling a lot to your home like your parents and taking care of your mom especially or you were just a lot in contact with your family and your mom because from 10th of March, uh, Mercury is going to go to your fifth house again. So that's the house of, again, love, romance, hobbies, business, and kids. And when Mercury goes in there, it is mostly involved on like intellectual level. So you will be intellectual and like documentation level. So uh, maybe... In March, you will start monetizing your hobbies, your skills, or your you will use your imagination and your creativity in 
working towards your business or some kind of project or you will be dealing with papers or thinking a lot about uh, your kids life your kids path your kids future your kids education or maybe they're participating in some kind of competition olympiad and you will be highly involved in their life as well so also it could mean a lot of like talking when it comes to kids or maybe you will be having a lot of dates and it's going to be mostly like communication so you will get to know your love a uh, partner more closely also it could mean that if you have been planning to kind of monetize your hobbies or open some kind of business you'll probably be uh preparing a business plan or preparing some documents maybe even like registering your business and by the end of march uh mercury is going to go to your sixth house so sixth house is discipline hard work daily work routine work your health gym pets um so if you are dealing with business or working with clients that means uh, from the end of march like from 27th of march all of your concentration your work and your like communication is going to be towards your work maybe you will be having a lot of like contacts like calling uh your like i don't know clients or um it could mean that like you will be if you have like your own business and you have like employees then maybe you will be providing some kind of uh, lectures hiring firing it is a possibility okay um next thing we have is okay i forgot to mention um when there's going to be a transit of jupiter with uranus in your fifth and seventh house so it's like uh let's focus on um partnership both business and love partnership let's say uh, you are in some kind of relationship where you do not like uh what is going on or maybe you are married and you do not like your spouse or you are trying to get a divorce but there is some kind of problem i think in march it will be easily resolved you will get what you want um i mean some people do not like divorces get getting divorced but some people want to and they cannot and if you are one of those then uh the process of like legalizing the divorce is going to be a uh, very smooth and like it will go well this month and it can also mean like um vice versa like if you are on some kind of beginner stage of partnership um uh, both business and love that means um suddenly it will grow to some kind of more stable and more responsible level okay and the next thing we have is venus and mars in your third house and they have been there since november and let me say third house is um is one of the best houses i think it's all about learning new skills learning new languages um implementing your Kind of the things that you have learned getting certificates it is also about cars it is also about moving locally like not abroad but moving in your own local space a lot uh, it can also mean like preparing documents so considering it's also siblings considering this uh we can i don't know think about many different ways to interpret this uh, aspect is that uh, maybe you have been dealing with a lot of uh, communication when it comes to networking. Maybe you have been meeting a lot of new people from November and until like 6th of March. You have been like um, improving the list of people that you know, especially if you're in business. Then it means that you have been attending a lot of like some kind of conferences and meeting new people because it is also social media and online. Yeah, it could be online things also it could mean that if you are a writer then in the past like three months you have been working uh, on a, some kind of book or blog or channel um, or you have been dealing a lot with your siblings maybe selling buying a car and traveling a lot like you know some people are still in quarantine but i think in your case you have been working like not from home a lot 
in the past like three four months and it is going to be uh like that until 6th of march yeah if you if you wanted to buy a car maybe you have been saving money from november and now you can finally like buy it in march however please make sure to uh deal with anything related to this field until 13th of march because from 13th of march we're going to have kind of some kind of tension so uh, it is also recommended that you kind of control what you're saying um your temper like i'm just saying it it is a brutal honesty channel so it is going to help you to prevent from some kind of conflicts and if things don't work well after 13 in terms of like whatever i just mentioned do not worry it will work from april <laughs> I, I i told you it is a brutal and honest channel okay not everybody's life is perfect everyone has some kind of uh good and bad aspect in their life every 12 sign okay moving on we're going to have a uh, okay let me say this again if you are dealing with property and like business partner and clients real estate it is better to do everything before 13th of march and the month kind of ends with full moon in virgo in your 11th house trining with pluto in your second house second house is money and pluto is big money and 11th house is online like literally internet anything related to it it could mean youtube channel it can mean social media it can mean working from home it can mean having a business e-commerce and also 11th house is the house of profits dreams coming true teamwork friends and projects and attending some kind of conferences and some kind of uh, social activities so and full moon means results so I believe you will receive because it's related to money as well I guess by the end of uh, March you will receive some kind of big profit especially from business if you have one or maybe you will win some kind of contest if you were like attending some kind of participating in some kind of competition it can also mean that maybe by the end of March you will monetize your hobbies and get the first profit off of it and you will it's also as I said dreams coming true so if you have been like can relate to anything if you have been having some kind of dream and you were working towards it you will receive the results probably good ones money related like uh, materialistic um by the end of march 18th of march that's the full moon and that is like all of the aspects of march 2022 for scorpios i just have a quick question if you're interested in weekly horoscope predictions from me please let me know in comments down below that will mean a lot to me if you have any other recommendation or appreciation for this free video <laughs> sorry <laughs> please let me know in comments and i hope to see you in my next video do not forget to subscribe thanks so much for watching bye